OC16 Sports is presented in high definition with surround sound. OC16 Sports, celebrating 27 years of being your exclusive home to live high school athletic competition. This live sports presentation is proudly brought to you by New City Nissan, Zippies, Pizza Hut, Taco Bell, Jack in the Box, and Shopo, Hawaii's Police Officers Union. Today on OC16, high school volleyball players from across the state hit the sand in Waikiki to stake, or maybe better said, spike their claim to the titles Kings and Queens of the Beach. Duke Kahanamoku started the game and his legacy is now being carried on by these outstanding high school players. Sun, sand, and volleyball converge on Waikiki's Queen Beach. This is the third annual Hawaii State Sand Volleyball Prep Championships. It goes down next. Live in high definition and exclusively on OC16 Oceanic Time Warner Cable. Oh, could there be a more beautiful setting than Waikiki? We're on the beach, on the sand for the third annual Boys and Girls State Volleyball Championships. Can't say beach because not everybody's so luxurious. <laughs> not everybody has a beach, of course, but we do. We're Hawaii, and we're teeing it up for the third time in a row. It doesn't get any better when you get to come to work barefoot with your toes in the sand. Kevin Wong and I, that's what we're dealing with today. Happy to have Kevin Wong. You are not only uh, a great volleyball player in your own right, but you are in many ways the architect of this event. It's so exciting to be here for the third annual. It's just fun. Getting bigger every year, right? Yeah, We've yeah, got teams is. coming from further places. We had a Waianae squad, teams from Maui and the Big Island as well. It's been very exciting to be a part of this. Yeah, the weather was a big headline for the past couple days. We'll talk about that in a minute. Weather is a non-factor. In fact, the players love that. We'll get to that in a minute. So here's how it started. It's been a busy couple of days, Kevin. 40 teams, that's how it started in the women's side. It got down to the pool play. Then finally we had eight teams. And here we are today, and we bring it back down to two teams. And uh, talk about a great storyline. <laughs> we have Punahou and La Pietra. On each team, there's a player named Green. Last year, they were together on La Pietra. They won it. As you take a look at what happened last year, it was the team of Green and Green beating Cataldo and Marquith. Well, the Greens have gone. Well, I shouldn't say they're separate ways. <laughs> One of the Greens left La Pietra to go to Punahou. And let's talk about the team from Punahou first. We have Savannah Green, the big six footer. She's teaming up with Aria McComber. These are two young girls, but boy, are they good. Yeah, both sophomores, Savannah Green, the most offensive minded player in the tournament. Six foot tall, brings a lot of power. Her partner, McComber, probably the most fit, the most aggressive in the back row. You're gonna see great defensive play from Aria McComber, someone who's got such a great lineage in the sport of beach volleyball. Then on the other side of the net, you have what comes in is the number one seeded team in La Pietra, half of which is the defending champ, Perry Green, who's teaming up with Jessica Akiona, 5'8 and 5'9. Two young players again, Perry Green, though she's already committed to USC, only a junior. Akiona is a sophomore. Right, Perry Green, so dynamic, such an athlete, has all the shots, all the chisels, the, the crazy cuts and angles. Her partner, Jess Akiona, a lefty, softball, on the right side, makes for a lot of easy transitions, and she has a great all-around game as well. All right, so one of these girls is going to be a two-time defending state champ. <laughs> it's very cool the way it works out. It's a great storyline. Again, dig in, toes in the sand. When we come back, we're going to serve it up, the 2015 Sand Volleyball Championships. And welcome back, everybody, to the sand right here at Queens Beach. As uh, you heard in the open, pretty much the origin, the birthplace of sand or beach volleyball. Duke Kahanamoku once upon a time with his buddies out here hitting it over the net. And here we are decades later. And how cool is it to have these two teams? There you see on the far side walking onto the mat with the, uh, the light blue, the more turquoise team, that's La Pietra. On the other side, the darker fronts, that'll be Punahou. Let's go over the match rules, Kevin. It's pretty uh, pretty down and dirty. Yes, this is the rules we will be using at the Rio de Janeiro Olympics in 2016. And right off the top, there's no open hand setting, no open hand reception. The net ruling, they've changed back to the tape as well. 
talking about a format that goes 21 points, 21 points, and 15. They have to win two out of three to win this Hawaii Prep Championships. All righty. Uh, you talk about Rio de Janeiro. Kevin, of course, international experience, having broadcasted in London, and you're going to be there in Rio. Speaking of international experience, this refereeing crew has got some pretty strong experience around the world. Right, a lot of guys who uh, refereed the collegiate matches at UH and on the far right, Christopher Tor, the birthday boy coming in from Canada, international ref in the way, on his way to Rio de Janeiro as a referee. Last weekend he was in Qatar in the Middle East. Next weekend he goes on to the Philippines. This guy's been really spreading his knowledge and aloha to the rest of the refs here in Hawaii as well. Yeah, racking up a lot of mileage points, so happy to have him here happy to have you join us wherever you may be we mentioned the weather well you probably know we're almost wherever you've lived because there's been a flash flood advisory or watch in effect for the entire island chain for much of the last three days but it's actually cleared up well it hasn't cleared up the rain has stopped but it's muggy it's overcast the players say they love it for a couple of reasons one the sun's not in their eyes Two, it's just not burning hot, the sand. But mainly, nice, the nice, sand nice, is wet nice. and compacted. Oh, that means sir. they could jump a little All bit right. easier. Look at you, Dash. Yeah, it's a jumper's <laughs> beach. The balls are going to be a little heavier, harder to serve big jumpers. But you are going to be see, seeing some blasts out here today. So here we go. That is on the right side, serving it up. On the left side of your screen is La Pietra. And there's Perry Green off the net, dug up there nicely by Savannah Green. And uh, both of these teams, as we get into the rhythm of the game, will tell you what their keys to the game is. They brought it up as they nice see Savannah, Savannah Green, the six-footer who's already committed to, to play for your brother at Pepperdine. Right, and what she does better than anyone, so offensive, you're going to see a lot of this on-to option from McCullough to Savannah Green. Such a devastating offense. So setting it up here is Perry Green. Nope, ball put Going over the net, the and Savannah net. dumps it down for... The point, two to nothing, Punahou. And you're going to see Savannah Green. They actually, part of the strategies they were talking about, you're going to see her doing some more blocking, typically in the high school level. Even on the boys' side, we haven't seen a ton of blocking, but this team really taking their game play to the next level. Savannah Green asked her about uh, why she chose to leave La Pietra, and she said, you know, I, I knew it would be a bigger stage, a more challenging stage, and that is out. Service out good. One actually pointed in, one pointed out, and uh, they're calling it in, or rather out, excuse me, so it's an out serve. But uh, Savannah Green on leaving to go to Punahou said, you know, she knew it would be challenging herself more to be on that bigger stage, and here is Savannah with the wind up and the kill, and that's already three quick kills for the six footer. Interesting. Same kind of dramatic dilemmas with both teams. You've got the defending champions, the Greens, and then the partners that are a little more experienced and admittedly a little bit more nervous as we talked to them before the match. And the ace serve, it splits the difference between Perry Green and Jessica Akiona. They both kind of look at one another and it falls right between them for the point. And you talk about some of that experience level, that's a player that Perry Green has had a lot of high performance USA volleyball youth program type level. Maybe needs to step in and help out with that play a little bit. And the two youngsters, or maybe not so much youngsters, <laughs> but the, the two newcomers in Akiona for La Pietra and Macomber for Punahou, both of them saying that uh, their teammates have really po proven nice to be mentors here, and teachers and a nice little fish shot that falls inside the tape for the point for La Pietra. But really a lot of credit being given to Savannah Green and Perry Green for being the mentors and the ones that have been here right, before. Right, right. So serving it up here is Jessica Akiona. And McComber met at the net by Perry Green, who puts it over, but are they going to call a net violation? They are. It'll be point La Pietra. And interesting, talking to both teams, you talked about this, the similar perceptions, talked about both of the Greens being so supportive of each other. But the other interesting thing is they were both saying the same things, right? we got to stay consistent. we got to dial back a little bit on the aggression now. The two teams will switch sides every seven points to negate the wind effect, some of the advantages, of course, when the sun is in your eyes as well. So a way to keep the le the playing field level. Yeah, and, and really it's a non-issue today because right now there's no sun to be found in anybody's eyes. There's absolutely no wind. So it's pretty much an even-steven match depending regardless of what side of the court you're on. So again, La Pietra on the right side now. The swing by Perry Green. That finds nice the sand shot. inside the line, and that is a point for La Pietra. And early on, Punahou, who had talked about going after the less experienced Jessica Akiona, they served quite a bit to Perry Green, and so maybe got to get dialed in on their game plan once again. 
McComber just going to knock it over the net. And an opportunity here. They're going to set up Perry Green. A little dump shot rolls off the tape, trying to save it. Nice job by McComber. Now she puts it to the back end wow, and gets it just big, big inside the tape. And that is a point for Punahou. Come on, make some noise, Got some great defensive light. players on I both sides myself. there. Ari McComber diving, laying it out, and the ability to hit the rainbow shot pretty right on the back line to finish the play. And McComber, you talk about the fact that she's an athlete. She's kind of one of those cross-fit queens, but she said, thank God, not this weekend. <laughs> yeah. just, I've taken a break from it. It's exhausting. I'm, I'm energized. So this is, what, the fifth match that both of these teams will be playing. They played last at about 9.30 this morning, at least the team from La Pietra. So they had a chance to go home, kind of rest up, right. back here on the beach. The interesting thing, at the end of yesterday, these are the two teams that were still part practicing. They were peppering outside there. They have so much energy and so much excitement. Savannah sets it up, and McComber. Dug up nicely back there by Akiona. Akiona now with the left-handed roll shot right over the nice net for the point. To the nice touch, the right? The yeah. dig, the nice roll shot. Maybe one of the hardest, most difficult skills is that transition set. High spinny pass into the wind and able to control it. Perry Green for the kill from Jessica Akiona. And the natural lefty. That one is right on the tape. And the referee making the call in the back row. And that was pretty obvious as it went right off that big blue ribbon. Nice set, stays behind the ball as Aria McComber just finding that back line. We've seen a lot of cross court, and we've seen a lot of cross court deep plays from right, McComber. Right See if La Pietra can make the adjustment to start covering that. Team switch sides again. La Pietra back on the left, Punahou on the right. Here's Perry Green. And I uh, don't know if that was a little bit of a miss, if it just no, kind of went off. That's exactly what she wanted. Pa Perry Green is slicey and dicey, right? She's like that Ginsu knife back in the day. Look at that, <laughs> just hitting the side of the ball and has such great control. Yeah, it almost looked like, uh, I don't want to use the word shank, but that was, that was like one of my golf swings, but it, she, she meant to take it off the side of the hand. Score tied at eight. By the way, we got the whole beach vibe going this year. We got the PA system. We got the music. I mean, this is the rock and roll sport these days and one of the great sports of the Olympics. And again, right off the tape, boy, that uh, blue line's getting a workout early, making it easy to call. And early on, we're seeing some, uh, a big contrast. The, the team from La Pietra, more cuts, more angles on the other side. Punho going more with that power game. Akiona serves it. Here is Savannah Green. Tries a little roll shot, manages to dump it right over the net in front of the, both of the players for La Pietra for, for Point of Hole. Uh, on cue, the fastball pitcher all of a sudden goes with the change up, and you see not a player in sight. Great change of speed there. And here's Perry Green, winds up, dug up by McComber. And here she is, winds up and drills it right down the middle. She's only, oh, I say only, but she's 5'7 compared to Savannah Green, six feet. But man, she's able to get up and hammer it straight through the defense. Look at the hops, and it goes with the legacy. Her grandfather, Tom Hain, was my first beach partner. He was also a member of the Olympic team back in 1964. Good teamwork. Perry Green sets it up. Here's Perry again. She's going to try to go for that corner shot and gets it in front of a diving McComber for the point. And look at this match, tied up at 10 all. And you talked about Perry Green on her way to USC. She's going to be one of the smaller players on the lineup. But you see the craftiness. You see the speed around the court. Makes up in so many different ways. Kind of neat in uh, you and I talking to these two teams before the two veterans, Green and Green. <laughs> the two blondes, if you will, is a uh, ace serve, and that's going to take us to our first time out. It's 11 to 10. We'll continue with our thoughts on these two teams when we come back. We're taking a break from the beach in Waikiki. Ah, back at the beach, right here on the wall. We're on the diamond headset of the wall. You know where they do the, the movies on the beach, the big Hawaii Five-O premiere. We're right under, in fact, the, uh, the support for the big screen. And a lot of folks have been out here all day long. You know, one thing, rain or shine, they're ready for beach volleyball because the tents are perfect, rain or shine. <laughs> right? This, the sun shining or the rain pouring down like it has throughout this weekend. Either way, the tent comes in handy. Punahou on the left side of your screen. And there's the swing dug up, nicely done by Akiona. And then Akiona, the little fish shot, pumps it over. McComber sets up. Savannah Green dug up by Perry Green. And here's Perry now. She'll get it back over the net. And that one misplayed Whoa, by Savannah. 
And that's going to be a point for the girls from La Pietra who jump out to a two-point advantage, kill number six there. There's an Austrian promoter, Hannes Jagerhofer, who does the biggest beach volleyball tournaments in the world. And he said, give me a rainy day, and if we can keep the crowd, if we can keep the te teams engaged, I'll show you some people that love the sport. And we saw that throughout this weekend. We didn't have any teams un and enter the tournament. We had capacity. We actually had to turn nice teams away because we didn't have enough places out here on this small beach that we have here in Queens Beach. What, what is his name? Hannes Jagerhofer, $5 yes. million dollar production. <laughs> Punahou girls on the left. Perry Green sets it up. Akiona knocks it over the net. Opportunity here. Savannah dug up by Akiona. And Akiona with a little left hand. Again, she's a le natural lefty. Savannah goes for that angle, Our puts it right there inside the in line for the Savannah. point. So Punahou. And as the wind starts picking up a little bit, mm -hmm. that cut shot. This is the opposite wind we're used to having here at Queens Beach. We're having onshore wind because of the storm. That could shot right directly into the cut shot. That's a perfect decision. Yeah, wind was completely non-existent until about a minute and a half ago, and now it's picked up just a little bit. But again, we'll switch sides every seven points. And the good side, bad side becomes a little bit more into play. And on the right now, on the good side is the team from Punho. La Pietra on the right, here is Punahou returning service. Slamming it into the net is Aria McComber point La Pietra and the girls from the Four campus that's just up the hill from Diamond Head, Kapiolani Park here up by four now. 15 serving 11, serving is Akiona. McComber into the net a second time and it is now 16-11. You know, you're starting to see some cumulative effects. You talk about a wet court being a little more jumpy, but it's also a little more like quicksand. So after a while, you start trudging through it, you're going to get a little more fatigued. McCumbered. Dug up by Akiona, who now tries to dump it over the net. Gets just enough on it to roll it right over the tape. It trickles down for the point, and La Pietra now with a six-point advantage and closing in on the first set. I've been so very impressed with Jessica Akiona so far. Just a sophomore. She's, of course, got a lot of pressure because she's playing with the defending champion, Perry Green, but talked about the nerves early in the match and said, at the end of the day, I know Perry supports me. As long as I try my hardest, good things are going to happen out here. Yeah, she said the TV thing, that's a little bit scary, but once the, uh, the game starts or the match starts, she says, I'm just focused on playing volleyball, and she's been playing very well. La Pietra now on the left-hand side of your screen, serving is going to be Aria McComber. Here's Perry Green. Tries to cut it again and put that angle on it. Doesn't get enough on it. And it's 17-13. And as this wind picks up just a little bit, all of a sudden you see those sets that were going perfectly on the net. They start drifting off, and you got to see players who can make some of these slight adjustments on the fly. Perry Green's got to chase that one down, gets it over the net. Now the lefty again, the net has been very friendly on a couple of these points today, and that time very friendly to Jessica Akiona. Great scramble, both sides. Love the energy, you love the hustle. And a timeout is going to be taken from the girls from Punahou. You see a big smile on the face of Perry Green as her team, Team La Pietra, heads under the Zippy's tent. We'll be back with more from Waikiki. Hey, welcome back to the beach, everybody. And a reminder, Jack in the Box, dedicated to making a positive difference in our community by supporting Hawaii student athletes. Jack in the Box, proud supporter of Hawaii high school athletics. Well, a lot of great sponsors out here, and uh, you see the tents and everybody getting involved out here. It's just such a great thing to, it's such a natural thing, a perfect fit. Volleyball on the beach in Waikiki. Serve may have been out. Now Savannah Green chases it down and then bumped back over by McComber. Opportunity here now, and the lefty again gets the help from the tape. I'll tell you what, Jessica Akiona has been the, the beneficiary of about four tape shots already in this first set. That's six kills for her. And really, it's tough mentally, right? Because all of a sudden, you got to 
This is a play that you can't really get to, so all of a sudden you've got to be able to reset, refocus, and Savannah Green showing wow. you she's got the discipline, ability to do that. Yeah, Savannah, the, re the veteran, she said it was her uh, time to leave La Pietra. She said to rise to the top at Punahou takes more, more dedication, more focus, and uh, she's really challenged herself, said she has a lot less time. <laughs> Little roll shot, Perry Green, nicely done. Shakes the sand off her hand, comes back. That little angle shot proves to be a winner yet again. Nice Diving Perry. forward over there, not able to get there is Aria McComber. And it is now 20 for La Pietra. Closing in on the first set victory. Back there to serve is Jessica Akiona, the 5'9 sophomore. Savannah Green chasing it down, knocking it over, and uh, that ball is out, and that is it. That is the first set. La Pietra wins it by a score of 21 to 14. So the girls, the Lady Panthers on the prowl. They take the first set on the beach. Stick around, everybody will take a break. We will be back with more from Queens. We are back between sets one and two in the Panthers from La Pietra winning it by a score of 21 to 14. The winning combo of that last year's team was Perry Green and Savannah Green. Let's take a flashback look back one year ago and the two girls there on the right side of your screen, the Greens. Well, they proved to be championship material and then one of them went her own way, and today they're going against one another. And they were the big underdogs last year. You remember they were playing against a team of Brandy Marquith, Teana Cataldo, who were the defending champions. You had a couple of a freshmen and a sophomore in the greens who weren't sisters, but with that victory, they talked about entering a sisterhood together. <laughs> yeah. So Savannah Green decided to go to Punahou. As soon as she did, Arya McCumber said, hey, that's, <laughs> you got to be my girl. We have got to team up. And pretty much from the day that she left, Sacred Hearts, she teamed up with Aria McComber, and they now find themselves trailing in this first set. So you have Perry Green on the right now with Jessica Akiona. Jessica, I mean, she was cute. Just talking to her, you know, just, again, both of the girls that haven't been here were very sweet, were very honest that, yeah, the TV thing, it's a little bit freaky, and, you know, they haven't been there, but both of them very much giving credits to their veteran teammates who have been here who have hoisted the trophy. So here we go, La Pietra on the right side of your screen. There's Akiona, and that is out. Let's take a look at our Pizza Hut first set stats. Wow, you talked about La Pietra. They talked about being consistent and not making any errors. They had one hitting error. They hit 591. That's off the charts. Talk about the one thing they maybe have to clean up a little bit more, the three service errors, but that was a La Pietra team that was rolling on all cylinders in the first set. I think I may have inadvertently said Savannah Green left Sacred Hearts, La Pietra, of course. In fact, all four of these girls, interestingly right. enough, at one time, all four of these girls attended La Pietra. Go figure. A little school on the hill turning out some big talent well, and, that. There's another roll shot off the tape. And you start thinking about it. Mahina Elenecki, mm -hmm. she's a, one of the stars, the headmaster over right. there at La Pietra. Another thing is it's got really close proximity to the Outrigger Canoe Club, yeah. which is one of the few public places that has beach volleyball courts, and they said they've all spent a lot of time there. However, however, you ask Perry and Jessica, okay, have you guys just after school just walked <laughs> down the hill and just practiced on the, the court there? And they both said no. You said you've never just snuck on? No. Like almost, right. how dare you even insinuate? <laughs> I used to sneak on when I was a kid. <laughs> In fact, Perry Green said, I hope to be a member there one day. I'm not going to sneak on and hurt my chances. <laughs> There's an overpass that proves to be worthy of a point. Wind's picking up. It's getting a little bit more frenetic course of play. All of a sudden, you've got to take that ball and you've got to go a little bit lower, try to get a little bit more control. Don't want to release it too high into the elements. And there's another point. Let's talk about the growth of this sport. Uh, Joe Kawachi over at Moana Lewis School building a sand court. Of course, University of Hawaii built a sand court. It, it's, a, it's a sport still in its infancy on, on many levels. And, and you got to talk about how this is the most successful emerging sport in NCAA history. It's gone in four years from zero schools to nearly 60 institutions that have got funding, they've got scholarship support, and you look, two of the four girls out here 
are going to college to play on a beach volleyball scholarship. Pretty amazing. As Savannah gets the kill, Savannah Green, and Punahou now right on your right-hand side of the screen. Lady Buff and Blue, 4-3 here in the second set. La Pietra taking the first set. And then, of course, on the Olympic level, as you know, because you do the broadcasting for it, this is, with the exception of some of the glory track and field events, this is about as big as it gets when it comes to Olympic coverage. Yeah, 30 million people tuning in for the whole last week of Olympic beach volleyball coverage. That's double the BCS football championships. To put that in perspective, that's crazy, right? <laughs> yeah. And then, of course, when you look at the professional tour, I mean, the girls, the long bodies, the skimpy bathing suits, not at this level. It's a whole not different thing. Very but tasteful that, out here. But, but that is part of just the whole aura that is sand volleyball. It's, a, it's just a fun, healthy, outdoor, golden girl and boy sport. You're right. It's healthy. It's creative. There's only two people. I think a lot of times people think you get stifled indoor. you got coaches and six people on the court. There's a lot of freedom out here on the sand at the beach. And there's an ace serve by Savannah. It's funny. You even asked the girls as we were talking to them, you know, have you do you have any coaching? Are you working with anybody? A lot of them, they, they pretty much do. It's just a self motivated sport or they'll go and take lessons with this person and kind of bounce back and forth yeah it's it's a much different dynamic than you see indoor volleyball nice catch by you bud in the in the tent here thank you very much got my bare feet on it and by the way just from a working perspective <laughs> how many people get paid to have their toes in the sand barefoot in waikiki <laughs> You and me, that's two, right? We're good. <laughs> Again, Perry trying to cut off that little bit of corner, and Savannah taking it right back, but it's out, and that is going to be a point for La Pietra. Plano is really oh, taking the, oh, nice. the aggressiveness up in this second set. We're having a, a little bit of a discrepancy here. Yeah. I definitely saw the line move. I thought that ball was definitely in. But... Yeah, Savannah thought it was in, too. Now what are they going to say? Oh, they're going to say it was out. They're not, taking, they're not changing the point. Boy, it is a tough one. It may have been just outside. Just because that little piece of blue tape moves doesn't mean it hit it. The sand around it moves, it's going to move, and now the rain starts falling. So for the first time, the rain becomes a little bit of a factor, and I'll talk to you, uh, ask you in a moment after this point. And there it is, putting it down there is Jessica Akiona. As you look up, and now the rain itself isn't a big deal till you look up and it starts hitting you in the eyes. Right, and you're trying to hit the ball and you're trying to control it. It gets a little heavier. Yeah, it really changes how the ball comes off your hand as well. Really going to make a lot of opportunities to make adjustments on the fly here. And La Pietra, the beneficiary again of that tape, is uh, Perry Green serves it, gets the A serve, goes right off the top of the net. And La Pietra evens the score. We are at seven all as everybody now starts to huddle inside. And this is where those tents come in handy for a totally different reason. Perry Green unable to chase it down. That's a point for Punahou. You know, and Perry Green was one of the players actually who spent a lot of time in the US, US National Youth Program. She said last year at the US National Championships in Santa Monica, the conditions were very much like this. And I think it's going to be a really big advantage for me and my team going into the, today's match. And look at the crowd out there, that Zippy's net right behind. <laughs> Aria McCumber about to serve there. And there's about 30 people huddled under the net. She's going to go back to serve again. And look at that crowd under that Zippy's tent back there. Zippy's has been so good. <laughs> Pepsi's been so good. They brought food for all the players. They had the Gatorades and the, the coconut water as well. Great thanks to our great sponsors here this weekend. So the rain is coming. The wind all of a sudden with it as this little front blows through. And that time the serve into the net. My oh, last Arie championship on tour was in Gale Force Winds in an event just like this. And it's interesting, attitude becomes everything, right? Because as soon as you start thinking, oh, this, this is terrible, look at the wind, how cold, you got to turn it into a fun thing out there. Yeah. And that ball, and something just like that, it just kind of slips off your hand a little bit. But again, the girls are saying, you know what? We don't have to worry about that burning hot sand. They loved the cool sand and the cool conditions. But this is a little bit more of a challenge now that it's dumping. And it's coming down pretty hard. You can't see it maybe as, as well on camera as it's really coming down. But it's, it's coming. That ball is hit and that ball is in. 
Perry Green decides to let it go, and it comes down just inside the tape. That's a point for Punahou, kill number seven. Nice deep swing once again. So now Lafayette, the team on the right side of your screen, with the wind at their back, that's not a good place to be because the ball can really move a lot more coming your direction. Green sets it over. Akiona saved there by Savannah Green. Here's Savannah. No, ball over the net. Now a little joust at the net. Savannah takes it. And then Perry Green trying to just dink it over and hits it backwards. That's going to be a point for the Buff and Blue. And now they jump out to a four-point advantage. Remember, we go 21-21, the third set only to 15. So Punahou trying to even the score as Savannah Green hits it into the net. The two teams will switch sides and a four-point differential and three-point differential. That takes us to 21 accumulative points, and that's a timeout. We'll be back with more. Stick around from a now soggy beach at Waikiki. Wow, well, Waikiki, it is the dream of many. This is the nightmare of some. <laughs> People save up for a lifetime to be here, but you know what? It's still warm outside, Kevin. We're still barefoot with our toes in the sand, but it is coming down. And uh, for the fans that were in attendance, make no mistake, there's a lot of folks out here. The tents completely surrounding this, but it has come on. And uh, you had mentioned it's an onshore storm, which is kind of a backwards or Kona type storm. And that's the only time you really get this kind yeah. of windy, rainy conditions in Waikiki. Right, Waikiki does not rain. Don't tell that to anybody today. The girls are smiling, though, because like you say, you've just got to embrace it and roll with it. That ball is going toward the back, and it's going to blow out and go long. And, and so Punahou now 13-9. You're seeing a little more communicating, right? A little louder communicating. It gets more noisy out there, and they're doing a really good job of making those kind of adjustments here. Boy, all of our officials and everybody out there, God bless them. <laughs> As we sit here under a tent that uh, cross our fingers holds because we got a lot of expensive electrical equipment out here. And uh, not to mention all of our camera guys that are doing their best to keep their equipment dry. I mean, they'll sacrifice themselves. It's the equipment that they work to keep dry. And there's another ace serve delivered over there by Jessica Akiona. So La Pietra switched over to the good side, serving into the wind, serving wait, into the rain. Wait a minute. Yeah. You're saying you're saying there's a good side? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's a rainbow and sun on one side. You don't see it? Right. <laughs> you can hear that wind though whipping around, that's for sure, and a nice little touch over. And the team of uh, Punaho, Savannah Green, Aria McComber, get the point. So it's Punaho, Savannah Green, Aria McComber, La Pietra on the left side, Perry Green, and Jessica Akiona. Here's Perry Green, goes up, hits it, dug up by Savannah Green. Savannah now on the receiving end of the setup, nicely dug up, but unable to get there is Akiona, and another point for Punaho. And now the Buff and Blue starting to close in here on the second yeah. set as Green gets kill number nine. Punahou serving up by four. There's that tape ball. This time, Punahou taking advantage of the ribbon. And it always has a way of equalizing, right? So La Pietra got some in the first set. Here, Punahou gets it in the second set. This is dumping. This is about as much rain as you're ever going to see in Hawaii, and yet, here we are playing beach volleyball. Yeah, and like, like you say, Waikiki, usually uh, the clouds, they come over the Ko'olaus and they kind of disperse. Yeah, really interesting. You take a look in the middle. <laughs> He's in a, a dual role. He's keeping score. That's Ian Green. That's Savannah Green's dad. Really fell in love with the sport. I think a lot of that, the success his daughter had, the fun she had playing in our prep championships last year. And he's actually gone through the certification. And here he is, a, a proud dad, but a working dad. Trying to fist it in there, and it's into the net. You know, I do want to give props to our guys, our whole crew here, because remember, this whole crew, much of these same guys that are out here today were out there at Aloha Stadium on Friday right. night when uh, congrats to Kahuku, the state champions, but they were battling the elements all night Friday, and here they are. It looked like maybe we were going to dodge a bullet, but now all of a sudden uh, we're getting blasted as that ball is hit out and wide. Point for Punahou. There's Trevor somewhere in there. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, you're, you will bounce back to 
chair. There's Mike Gonzalez. Trevor's got a lot more coverage going on. Mike's out there with his guns. You know, sorry to say it, the humans will bounce back tomorrow. The equipment, <laughs> uh, you know, that's where you got to be careful. <laughs> no disrespect to the human operators, but. And they know it too. I mean, they'll do everything possible to keep the equipment dry and sacrifice themselves in the process. 17 to 14, our score. It looks like, I know this sounds funny, but it looks like it's getting a little brighter. <laughs> <laughs> the rain's not letting up, but it's getting brighter. What does that mean? At the moment, nothing. Perry chasing it down, tries to swing at it. And also, now every time your hands get sandy and you're just, there's Jared back there. Uh, we go through all of our camera guys. Sean on the steady cam. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we got a tent. We're lucky over here. Oh yeah. We're getting a few drips. Uh, oh wow. Look out, girls falling over one another and then getting back up. Savannah with the assist. Savannah with the kill. Play of the match. Boy, the two girls for Punahou. Savannah tripping over her teammate, Aria McComber, and then manages to get back up and get the point. <laughs> and they play on, 19-14. Perry Green gets it over. Here comes Savannah yet again. And that's off the block, down for the point, and it is point for Punahou. And here, here we are. Here's, uh, here's uh, what's going yeah, on here. That, let's not make it too glamorous. There's, <laughs> right? I used to have notes here. Well, fortunately, it's not 11-on-11 11 11 football or even 6-on-6. Six uh, six six. We only re need to remember four names. We could do that. <laughs> so uh, they take a little break here at 20 to 14. And what did I say about it getting lighter? Look, it's, it's lightening up just a little bit. <laughs> it's got a lot more to go. <laughs> you know, you talking to uh, Carrie Walsh Jennings, the three-time gold medalist, uh, as she was getting ready for the Beijing gold medal final, it started dumping just like this. And you talk to her, you listen to the quotes, and her thing time and time again was there was events, there was times in practice where it was raining, and I knew that other people were calling it easy. They were calling it quits. They were going in and getting a latte and getting out of the weather. But every single time we had that situation, we put in the time, we did the work, and uh, I think you're seeing exactly that out here today. Yeah. Well, you know what, it's championship Sunday, so rain or shine, wind or none, they're gonna be out here battling, and it looks like we will be going to a third winner take all to 15 set. How hard is it just to be able to keep your hands sand free and somewhat dry. Oh, you don't even try to do that you know? at this point, right? And you see, right, and you don't see any hand setting because yeah. it becomes too dangerous. You can slip through your hands. You can double contact it. What I'm shocked, though, is that there's no towels that they even bother wiping their hands off between points. No sense? It, it's not golf, Dash. This is beach volleyball. <laughs> you get sandy. <laughs> how, how soft you've become. Oh, God, that's beautiful. <laughs> For the match, or rather, excuse me, for the set, the diving effort, and not so fast as the team of Perry Green and Jessica Akiona extend this second set. It is now 20 to 15, 13th kill there for Perry Green. And uh, just a quick clarification, uh, Perry Green wanted to know, am I serving or is Jessica serving? And they've, uh, then they realize that we're at a multiple of seven, so the two teams switch sides. So set point for Punahou. Savannah Green. And Ari McComber. Here's McComber. She's not going to be able to get to that one. It turns out to be an A serve. And don't say it's over yet. <laughs> 20 to 16. The Lady Panthers would love to rally back, score four straight, not even have to play a third. There's a free ball. It's going to be slapped out. It's 20 to 17. Right, and just that little pitter-patter, those footsteps you start hearing, and they've just burned through that timeout. So all of a sudden, are they going to be able to regroup here and refocus? Swinging. 
Good save there by Perry Green. Now Perry trying to get it up in the net. She does it, and that is it. The second set comes to a conclusion. And so we're going to take a break. We're going to come back. It's going to be a third set to 15 with the winner taking the championship. Stick around. High drama on the beach in Waikiki on OC16. All righty, back on the beach. And uh, for the moment, the wind and the rain has let up considerably. And wouldn't it be nice if for this final set, which is only to 15, the elements weren't part of the battle. And you know, a lot of people talked along the, the way, right in the middle of your screen, Janine Mamiya Kalahiki there in the, the white hat and the black shirt. She's actually an integral part of putting this together. Three years ago, she said, beach volleyball getting really big. What do we need to do to make it a Hawaii prep championships? And the marketing director at Zippies, I'll tell you what, she's the one who led us down this path and uh, really calls a lot of the shots and made this very possible. Oh, so very cool. Let's take a look at our second half stats, Kev, as we get ready for the third and final set. Second set by Pizza Hut. Here you go. And all of a sudden, the roles have reversed. Punahou's offense starting to click into gear. La Piesha, who played nearly flawless, the one error in the first set turns into four errors in the second. Got to clean that up, but good high-level play from both teams. And we are off. Punahou on the right side. Overpass. Here's Perry Green. There's that little chip shot that she does so well. I honestly thought the first time she did that, it was a miss. <laughs> now that she's done it about five times, it's very clear that she knows how to hit that perfect little chip shot off the right side of her hand. That's her 14th kill. So hard to do, like a fadeaway shot, right? She's jumping one way, hitting the other. Savannah Green setting it up. Here's Aria McComber dug up. A great oh. from Savannah off the arms of Akiyon and out. We are even at one. So again, this third set, it is only to 15. Got to win by two. One for the championship. Perry Green sets it up. Perry's gonna get it back, eyes that back area, and she hits it right into that spot. Really nice job, the set was put up, and she took her eye off the ball just long enough to kind of give that quick glance, there it was. And she found that deep spot. Look at you, that's high level, announcing high level volleyball playing as well. Taking the eye off and seeing the court. Good contact, but out. Trying to take a really good swing at it was McComber. And we've seen in both sets, the teams that have had the early success, the early luck, have really been a lot more comfortable and in control. So these early points in the third set, even more important. Here's McComber again, and that again, off the arms and out. Uh, Jessica Akiona. It'll be two serving three. Back to serve is Savannah Green. Akiona, a little dump shot, perfect. And it's 4-2 for the girls from Sacred Hearts on the left side of your screen. Really impressed by the job Akiona has done as well as McComber. Those were the two players who come in much less experienced, not the defending champions, and yet they've played at a very high level here in this Bright Lights match. So they switch sides again. It'll be La Pietra serving on the right side of your screen. They lead it by three. Remember, set only to 15. And the swing dug up. The lefty again perfectly puts it down there. How much composure is she playing with, right? The bright smile, you can't even see a hint of nerves. Ability to slow it down a little bit, find that core. Look at that. Love the communication, love the composure. Savannah Green setting it up. Perry Green digs it up. Now Perry. Again, that quick little take in the eye off, and this time unable to get it over the net. Point Punahou. And sometimes in the weather with the conditions, it becomes a little more complicated. Think about all of a sudden, instead of taking your eye off a stationary uh, topic, you're watching a, a moving ball in the moving, gusting wind. Maybe you got to keep it a little more simple as Perry Green. Another, Another hitting point. error from Perry Green. All of a sudden, you're going to have the 5-5, five, 5-4 five, five, switch nearly coming up. Punahou 4 serving 5 for La Pietra. 
Back to serve it up. That's Aria McComber, five foot seven sophomore. No seniors out here at all, and that's the ace serve. So she gets the point, and we are tied back up at five all. Nice float serve, no spin on it, forces it to duck and weave across that net. Now you see Punho coming over to the bad side, and you have LaPietra. Look at look at the gusting Pepsi flag in the back. It tells you exactly where that wind direction is going. Good news, though, for the moment, no rain. So the rain has pretty much completely let up for this third and final set. Here's Perry Green. There's the little touch shot over the big six-footer Savannah Green, her former teammate whom she won a championship with last year. If you joined us late, that's one of the great storylines. Green on now Punaho and Green on La Pietra were teammates. They won the title last year for La Pietra and then Savannah Green departed for Punaho and here they are going against each other in the championships again. McComber, nice play to keep it alive. Perry Green chases it down. Well played and then over the net. By Akiona, and then smacking it into the top of the tape for Savannah Green. You could hear that microphone picking up that whip. <laughs> right, shows you all the power she's got hitting the cable, but look at the hustle play. Akiona, a good dig, a spectacular rundown. Great control from Perry Green. <laughs> <laughs> the communication. Oh, look at that. Akiona gets it over. Here's Perry again. Takes her eyes off. Again, just that ability to take that quick glance across the net before she figures out where to hit it. There's just a little knock over the net. Both teams talked about being a little extra cautious, especially now in these conditions. And there's Perry with the fish shot, chased down by Savannah Green. Here's Savannah back the other way. That's good for the winner. Rally of the match, back and forth. Little ding shots, little short shots. And then all of a sudden, Savannah Green brings out the hammer for the put away. Lucky kill number 13. It's a 7-6 La Pietra lead. Punahou will be serving. Savannah Green to do the honors. And into the net it goes. We're even at seven, so the two teams should be switching sides right here, correct? Uh, 15 oh, on the third set. Every five points. Every yeah. five points in the third set, pardon me. So one more point here. So eight serving six. La Pietra on the left. Punahou on the right. That serve is out. And a good call that time by <laughs> Aria McComber. So now they will switch sides. You know, the interesting personality types. You talked to Perry Green here in your foreground about playing against her old partner. She said, bring it. I love uh -huh. playing against Savvy. On the other side, Savannah Green said, I have so much respect. Learned so much from Perry along the way. The one thing that I love from Savannah Green, she says, hey, I want to graduate with four plaques. I want four right. plaques. <laughs> oh, that ball over the net and a little bit of a deke uh, by Perry Green made like that was going to be a, a hittable pass, hittable yep. set, but I think she knew it was over the net all the while. Right, actually over on two, making the play, and then look at once again, Aria McCumber with the great hustle of play and effort. Nine serving seven. Jessica Akiona, the lefty, swats it over. Overpass, nice hustle by Perry Green, but then Akiona unable to keep it in play. Point for Punahou, and it's back to a one-point set. Savannah Green talked about coming in last year as one of the underdogs, didn't really know what to expect this year. She said the TV, the plaques, the excitement, this is something I'm really gearing up for. Here's Perry Green, goes cross court. That ball is in, that is a point. It is good for and it's 10-8. Love the control. Look at the great set from Jessica Akiona and then just on the, the cut shot. Ball, that's over. Akiona sets it up. It's going to go back to her. Here's Savannah. Perry Green keeps it alive. Back to Perry. Just trying to put it in that front right quadrant, and what a perfect touch. What a difficult shot that is. Amazing. You look at talking about Savannah Green with the length, her ability to, to lean out and make the play, but this is nearly perfect, just slicing along the net. And she's shown depth. She's shown the short call as well. I really like 
this timeout here from the team of Savannah Green and Aria McComber showing a lot of a maturity level as well. Boy, that was such a difficult shot. She did it almost seemingly so nonchalantly, but uh, just wonderfully done for her 18th kill. So they'll uh, retire to their tents for the moment. Look at this duo, so much chemistry, great friends off the court. You talked about they both transfer, transferred at different times from La Pietra to Punahou, and they said, hey, when we do it, when we get to this new team, we're, we're dialed in. We're going to be teammates in the Hawaii Prep Championships. So a couple of points, four points away, La Pietra. And again, what a great storyline that these two girls, Green and Green, who won a championship last year for the Panthers, separated as Savannah Green goes to Punahou, and here they are going up against one another in a championship match a year later. And there's Perry Green on the left there, getting her a little drink of water. Boy, they'll be pulling grains of sand out probably for days to come, right? <laughs> yeah, just, you don't, you just let it go, and the next thing you know, you have sand in the, the, the carpets, and yeah. in the living room, in the car, yeah, it's they'll, part of the life. They'll be finding it in their ears, between their toes and their hair, probably on Thursday of this week. <laughs> I guess you're, you're, you're uh, your wood play on, on the golf course pretty good. You don't get any sand uh, uh, out there, huh? Uh, hard to avoid the sandboxes on a golf course. Oh, trying to go cross court, I believe, with Savannah Green. Didn't get it over the net. And now getting closer and closer, a four point differential. And uh, I think Perry Green, they're starting to uh, taste it right now. Now with the. At 20 little. points, yep, they're going to flip it around. It is 12 8. It'll be 12 serving 8. Perry Green with the volleyball. So La Pietra, the small school. With the big volleyball history, you mentioned the right headmaster over, over there, there Mahima uh, Eleneki, former University of Hawaii star. And that one just eight out. Eight right now. So inching closer. It is now 13 8 and uh, almost affording herself a chance to smile as Perry Green on the serve. There's Savannah Green. Perry chases it down. Akiona with the hustle play, but not able to get it inside the antenna and inside the tape. It'll be Point Punahou. Great team hustle, great team athleticism. They're not guessing on this, right? They're balanced, they're staying deep, the ability to make the read, nearly making the play as well. La Pietra has been the better defensive play, playing team here today so far. There's Aria McComber, only a sophomore. Three sophomores and one junior. Perry Green, the junior. There's Perry trying to chase it down, but that's outside the antenna. That'll be a point for Punahou. You see the communication. La Pietra giving up a couple of points here this set. Pulling a little bit outside. They've got a timeout as well. You know, they did a really good job of using their timeout to see if La Pietra can do the same or whether they don't need it at all. There's Perry Green trying to get to the penultimate point here. Perry again will have another chance. This time winds up, hits it long, and it's 11 serving 13. <laughs> oh, the look of disbelief right there. Perfect pass and set just carrying a bit long. What a run this team from Punahou has made. A little bit of envisioning there. You can see closing the eyes, Arya McComber trying to visualize her team winning this point. Here is McComber. No ball hit over the net. Perry Green chases it down. Here's Perry now, tries to go cross court. Savannah keeps it alive. She's not going to get to that one. Point La Pietra. It is match point. They will be serving for a state championship after the two teams switch sides. Oh boy, it's almost, almost an insurmountable hole to climb out of for Punahou, but never say never, but it's tough. On the good side though, right? On the good side, they're receiving service. This is about ideal situations if you wanted to mount a play. So they got to take care of this first pass, get a point, put up some tough serve, not too much territory to cover. Aria McComber was back there trying to pull sand out of her eyes. Look for the serve to go right at McComber. There it is. They said they were going to go after the lesser of the two experienced players. Perry Green keeps it alive. Akiona knocks it over the net. What a save. 
And unfortunately for Punahou, Savannah Green unable to come up with it, and that is it. The championship for the second year in a row goes to La Pietra, and for Perry Green, it is back to back. Wow, how sweet it is. Two great plays at the very end. Jessica Akiona able to get into the angle, make the dig, and then stays behind the ball and finds gold at the end of the rainbow. One team is going to have a player that wins two in a row. It's Perry Green. And welcome back, everybody, to Queen's Beach here in Waikiki. I don't know that I could say it's a beautiful afternoon, but it was a beautiful afternoon for a couple of girls who go to school on the campus of La Pietra, just down the hill, right above us. But anyway, it's a still scenic day here in Waikiki. It's always beautiful on the beach, especially when you win a championship. And we knew one girl, Kevin Wong, was going to be back to back. It was either going to be green or green. <laughs> but was it going to be Perry or Savannah? In the end, it is Perry Green, who teams up this year with a new teammate. And Jessica Akiona. And we're happy to be joined by those two girls here. And uh, Sandy, sweaty and tall because we gave them the big chairs because you guys are the big queens of the beach. First of all, congratulations. How much fun was that? Share the microphone. Oh, uh, she's going to defer to the girl who's never done this before. So talk about this uh, this match today. It was definitely uh, a one in a lifetime experience, especially with for my first time being in beach. I was so happy to be partners with Perry. So she pushed me really hard. She was definitely my anchor in the tournament. You, you told us before that you really looked up to her because she has been here. That yeah. She was a mentor. She was a coach. She was a leader. Talk about this match and talk about, did you lean on her in that second set when that weather blew in? What was that like? Yeah, she, I definitely did. Um, I feel like I burned her just a little bit too much, but um, she's definitely helped me through the whole weather and everything. Yeah. Emotional moment for both players. Uh, at one point in time, I think... Uh, Talk about the attitude, Perry, coming in, playing against maybe someone that you know well, often on the court, and your your championship teammate from last year playing against Savannah. Well, you know, if you play someone, you definitely know their strengths and weaknesses. And, um, you know, it helps. But then again, she knows my strengths and weaknesses. So it's, it's about even, but it, it definitely helps the strategy before. And, you know, we talked about it because we had to break in between the semi and this. So we were able to discuss strategy and be able to execute. All right, well, we want to go back and look at some of the highlights. You talk about strategy, you talk about executing. How tough was it to even think about strategy and execution during that second set? Have you ever played in conditions like that, by the way? Um, I did once in California at the HP Championships. It was thunderstorming, we got delayed and everything, but out here, I mean, at least we could see that, and here is like, you turn, the, the rain is like right in your eyes. <laughs> I'm so used to saying sun, but the rain was like, can't see anything and I know her contact got messed up and it was like <laughs> okay just try to hit the ball like yeah well at the end of the day you're a champion yet again and you get to come back here a, a third year yeah. I mean you, you still got another year of this you got a few more years of this yeah. so now you got to think back to back to back I'm down, you're down. <laughs> bring it I'll take it is there going to be some friendly ribbing uh, with yeah. you and your other green partner over oh, there oh yeah yeah for sure I'm sure there'll be a few text messages like, good game, good game, mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> yeah. Jessica, talk about the, the last thing, talk about how nervous at the beginning and then all of a sudden midway through that set, the smiles started coming a little more easy. Yeah. Well, what, what was the part of that process? Um, Perry always reminds me to smile. I'm so serious. <laughs> and her telling me to smile definitely helps me um, get my head back into the game and realize that in the end, it's about having fun and pushing hard. And Perry's definitely a fun person, <laughs> for sure. Well, yeah. one final thing. I know you both wanted to say thanks to your family. A yeah. couple oh, shout yeah. outs because through thick and thin, through rain and shine, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure. Well, congratulations to both of you. Here's our uh, impact player. Thank keep you. Yeah. We're going to keep it in plastic because oh, you yeah. never know what's going <laughs> to go over the water. Thank you. But there you go. Perry Green and Jessica Akiona, your 2015 Sand Volleyball Champions. Congratulations to them. We're going to let them go back and kind of uh, celebrate their moment. And then we're going to stick around and uh, we've got to have a little four on four volleyball coming our way 
in just a few seconds from now. So stick around, everybody. Much more coming your way from the beach here in Waikiki. Oh, it was a good first match and much more to come. Glad you could join us here on a Sunday afternoon.